Peter. He also, again, don't give away 50 points. Fusty comes in with his Basilisk, but Pipe, all heroic hunters there. Pipe is really on a roll in this match because he made some very good decisions right now, what we saw. Zebra is coming from the right side with yeah, Spectres and Avatars. Yeah, this, this could deal some, some damage to Pipe, but they have two players here, many spanners, so it would be getting difficult to not to push GDI back in here. Yeah, it would do. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, and Nicole, uh, Nicole realizes that uh, Crawler is in difficulty, so instead of just letting it go down yep. without using support power, she's used the support power on Pipe, then and given the extra shields uh, yep. around his uh, around his hunters, which is uh, again, it's a sign of a good player. You know, you're about to lose your Crawler if it's support. Use your support powers. Don't let them go to waste. Just use them. Use them on anything, really, just so you're not wasting it. Because as soon as your support, as soon as your Crawler's gone. Your support power's time resets, and you've got to wait for it to build up yeah. again. And she, is, she, she lands behind Ari, she knows she's secure behind his roller, and she will save it. Okay. Yeah, but, uh, okay, not succeeded to push GDI away from Node 5. Yeah, if we um, just go to uh, Node 1, Michael, uh, yep. because we now got Ari come out as one of my favorite crawlers, Defense. <laughs> <laughs> Which he, he also plays very well, actually. It, it's it's very rare you get players in this game that are very good at all different types of uh, crawlers. You know, different using them uh, to to the best uh, advantage. Yeah, I see uh, some zone raiders, some zone captains. The zone captains also a very very good unit. And a, and a, and a, and a shield, a crystal shield. Maybe we'll see later if he succeeds to free somebody. Bill, let let's please. Let's have a short look at the at the tip. Okay, not has eight more tip, and yeah, GDI has nothing. It's 80 points for not direction, but at the points, the overall points, the GDI has now lead with uh, 400, yeah, 300, and yeah, we will see how they can can bring it to the end. Yeah, I mean, as as we said before, uh, the, making sure that you have keep collecting the tip during the game makes a massive difference. And if you look at Zebra, Zebra's <laughs> Zebra's doing that. She's taking the blue back to the uplink yeah, nice. over at Node Five. I and, love to see that. Yeah, really. Because I mean, that's an extra ten points. But if I just want to mention about uh, Ari Gold's uh, Ion Cannon, a ah, super weapon. Phil, here we see the freeze between five and one. You see the freeze from four oh, avatars. Yes. So Ari, nice, nicely done. This was I was waiting for. This is. Uh, also, big advantage from from GDI defense. Oh, yeah, very nice. And if you saw that, he, he realized that his uh, oh, and Fusty did uh, excellent work there. He's actually froze his units, uh, froze the avatars where the ion cannon was going to blast. Now this is quite useful, this because what it does is it actually reduces the effect of the ion cannon. Yep. Uh, and that nice. again is a very good play. It still neutralizes them, so they can't move for a bit, but it reduces the damage. We can really say, Bill, we have no noobs here. Nobody is digging in the nose, and <laughs> they all try their best and show us their best. This is a very a high skilled game. We see yeah. all options of the game here. In very nice, very nice. Yeah, it's it's excellent play. It's nice to see rhinos out as well. Again, very underused units. Rhinos create vibration on the ground, which also slows down enemy yeah. units as they approach a crawler. Also, uh, um, uh, I think it reveals stealth units as well. Uh, but of course, they leave husks behind, and uh, husks are, uh, you know, a bit of a nightmare on a field, particularly in pro games, because they just get engineers out, capture them, and before you know it, they're working against you. Yeah. All true. Oh. Still look at one, Zebra is there with a avatar to take one, look at two, she has a stealth tank and hold fire, but there is Nicole's crawler, so the stealth tank will do nothing there. In the in the right uplink, Pipe has a hunter outside the uplink, I want to see to, 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 to go with this, to let, let this hunter drive into the uplink, yeah. take it for GDI. There's also a husk uh, of avatar, maybe... Oh, Pipe, Pipe's on an engineer drop yeah, there. Yeah, that's what Let's I want to that. say, he should... An Angie drop there. There he comes. You're again <laughs> some seconds in future from me. And right now he course. gets the uplink. Good. Good from Pipe. <laughs> okay. So back to the middle at one. Yeah, and we got we got all action here in the middle. We got zebra stripes with ground units. We've got uh, specters and avatars there. Engineers. Uh, also, we got Fusty with his uh, basilisks. 
uh, which again, I'm going to make work. Oh, and we've got a, an artillery strike somewhere. Oh, I don't know where, yeah, can't see it. Yeah, oh, yes. No five. Yeah. This is the usual late game battle. Avatars and basilisks and spectres against paladins and thunderheads and juggernauts. Here we see rhinos, like you mentioned earlier. Yeah, this is, but yeah, like I said earlier, I love this long tech we late game battles and pipe yeah you, you look at one pipe has five six banners all his hunters are heroic he's so difficult to kill here yeah and this is a nightmare to play against he has three avatars and oh. is deep and he's, yeah and um, looks like pipe's gonna lose his crawler is he gonna save it so zebra yeah he's lost it Zebra's got a stealth unit. Now, what's always useful, actually, because with stealth units at nodes, you can't see them unless you've got an engineer to spam, uh, or spanners there. Uh, but if you... Or a drone. Or a drone. Or a drone, yes. But if you... Uh, if, all you need to do is you need to watch the node. And if you lift off or move your units and the arrow starts moving towards nodes, you know there's a stealth unit there yeah. somewhere. We have other... Uh, does a shield freeze a cheetah by the decommission. But normally, uh, Nicole intends to make a drone... Uh, ahead of the nodes, you know, to see the, the stealth units, but right now we see no drone in match here. And uh, there there is one, one no. just to pay that node too. <laughs> like I said it some seconds earlier, man, this is... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I told you, I didn't watch the replay before. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, very nice from Nicole. So, uh, GDI can see this stealth, uh, stealth tank. It will not survive much more longer. I see the Paladins will take him out. It's not yeah. the, the best counter unit, but yeah, also Orca, two Orcas are here, yeah, this is gone. This is the yeah. thing. Yeah, and there it goes. It's gone. And if we look at Zebra, Zebra's still collecting the blue tip. I don't know where she's going with it at the moment, though. Um, not really <laughs> sure. Um, <laughs> maybe it's just going for the drive around the map, I don't know. Yeah, we... yeah but uh, she's not in that bad decision to bring it home. The Basilis will protect her. They will not come near. Uh, maybe five. We'll, uh, yeah, we will we will watch it if she succeeds bring it home at three. But if we are Nicole against trusty support crawler. Yeah. And oh, also I'll... Zebra here with the blue bill on the right side. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's every game the same with her. She never <laughs> stops collecting tidbits. And like I said, we will watch later the the uh, Tiberium counter. And I'm uh, I'm pretty sure that Not will have an immense. Uh, Tiberium um, count on on their side. Yeah, and Zebra's brought that blue home as well. Uh, fantastic work there by Zebra. You know, really, really good. Uh, but these make all the difference. I mean, we look at the points now. We got uh, GDI. We're considerably ahead before. They were about five, six hundred points ahead. But now Nod's managed to pull it yeah. back. And again, you see, this is fourteen. Uh, Not as fourteen more tip. That's one hundred forty points. And like I see, GDI has only 70, this is 70 points difference, okay, not that much, but like uh, we will watch again some seconds before the game is finished. Oh, Cheetah in deep trouble at 3. Yeah. With some Kodiaks, two Kodiaks, one Thunderhead, and also good from Nicole, the Thunderhead uh, died, but Cheetah will lose his crawler here. Yeah, I think so as well. Yeah, there we go, 50 points. But he did the right thing there. He didn't decommission, uh, which is what some people tend to do. If you decommission when it's getting destroyed, that's 100 points. That's double the amount of points that you would normally get if you ran yeah. away. This could and be game right deciding. Thing. This only decision can in this close game be game deciding. It's 100 points. This game yeah. now not has now a lead from 140. Oh, uh, yeah. And Fusty's managed to take out Nicole's crawler there by using the marker cane. Uh, which, which I've always noticed with Fusty, and I don't mean any disrespect to Fusty, but Fusty doesn't tend to use a lot of support powers. He tends to save them for marks of Kane, and, and then goes around and gets the 50 point crawl of kills. Now, which is a good thing, because it obviously gives them 50 points, um, but it's, uh, it's obviously a disadvantage because you're Zebra not using it. Like, uh, Iron Cannon and um, a Sonic Artillery. Oh, five wow. seconds, uh, they go really after RE and together they steamroll now from the middle to the right side oh it's just excellent okay. and we got the rhinos coming forward now this is hopefully if um you know if he brings them forward and fusty's um basilisks focus on them you notice they've got the shields at the front that reflects the beam back at the basilisks and it causes damage to them 
the oh, same um. half of the refractor. It's always very dangerous to shoot with laser units, especially with basilisks, to refractors and uh, and the rhinos because if they have to the board this crystal shield upgrade, I don't know the English word, I have the German version of the game, you know, <laughs> <laughs> then yeah, it will re reflect it and you will get a payback. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yes, if it bounces back, it focuses it, uh, re it reflects it basically. Oh, we got Zebra there. Look at now, what's, look what Zebra's done at Node 1. Yeah. She's moving her crawler, but she's got her on hold fire. Absolutely, and Ari so, is not... So Ari can't see yeah. it. <laughs> Don't have a clue what's going on here. That Zebra <laughs> is, is driving with her stealth tanks directly through Ari's units, and he don't see it. And no. Yeah, he can't and see you, her. No, he can't, but if you watch the ground, it leaves a, uh, a track. So you can actually see the tracks as GDA. And so you can see some things there, but of course, when you're in the heat of the battle, you're not looking for these small details, yeah. you're looking at what you can kill. Yeah, but uh, on, on my uh, replay settings here, I made these details on middle, so I can't see this, this uh, like I said earlier, on you are watching on high definition, on high settings, so you see it on your, your computer, but right now, for the bottom, I don't have it here. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so, oh, what we see here, Ari's defensive crawler is gone from fastest Basilisk. There was a system reboot on his Basilisk. Maybe from Nicole he got it because I don't. S I missed it. I wasn't sure if he had a mark of pain. I wasn't sure. Well, I didn't. I didn't notice it. But uh, oh, and Cheetah. We look at Cheetah. No three. He's in a bit of trouble now. Yeah. yeah. Already has three rhinos coming now. One is already set up to a coming. He has two juggernauts and also two zone captains. Yeah. This Aubrey has a strong yeah. force there. Now, one thing I'd like to mention on this, actually, as a defense player, which I tend to play quite a lot, in fact, it's probably the only one I do play, is that when a, uh, a Nod Crawler is up like that, put sticky bombs, fire sticky bombs at it while it's standing up, because if it lands underneath, if it moves over them, it causes immense damage to the crawler. It really does cause some serious damage. But a lot of people tend to, uh, you know, not bother doing that. Yeah. But again, if it deploys, get your sticky bombs and put them in front of the crawler. So when it's his units come out, it's destroying them as they're coming out of the actual uh, as it's coming out of the crawler, you know, which is uh, quite useful. Yeah, very intelligent play, what you described here. And I know you did it also to me when I played against you with not when you played GDI. <laughs> I, <laughs> okay, so Bill, let's go back to one. Zebra is surrounded from Nicole's air units and pipes. Long veterans on the field, these hunters. Oh, uh, oh, I, uh, oh, oh it's hundred point, a hundred points. This there. was too late, my my little zebra. It was getting close, but it was too late. So GDI has the lead back, only twenty or thirty points. But yeah, this hundred points for them, easy yeah. hundred points. Yeah, it makes a massive difference. Oh, and look what Fusty's done there. Very clever. He's actually uh, shielded his uh, basilisks. Yep. Yep. Well, yep. some of them, uh, so he can decommission them. Two of them, maybe a, a third one. No, yeah, two and, okay. and that's double the points there. So again, Three that's points. a massive difference there for uh, for Nod, but okay. uh, for GDI. But Nod has Nod control, so they can easily make them points okay, back. Bill, wait short. I, I have a short look at the points. Um, Ari 860, oh pipe 800, and they're yeah, not as usual. Is a little bit behind. Fasty 570, Cheetah 380. Okay, that's from the point side, and if we look at the tip, we have Fusty 20, that's 200 points, and GDI only 2 build, that's a difference, yeah, maybe he bought some, because uh, some minutes earlier he had more, but it's yeah. 180 points to not favor, oh man, this is getting a full to finish, both teams need only 80 or 90 points, <laughs> not has 2 notes, I don't know who will win that, man, this will be getting yeah. really close. 80 oh, and, points for both. And now we have uh, GDI has three nodes, Nod has two nodes, oh no, back down to two nodes each. Now, if you've got the same number of nodes, the points don't increase, so one of them needs to get an advantage here by capturing at least one more node. Now GDI uh, has three, and I note one is getting in Nod's direction, but they are streaming to it, uh, uh, pipe, and let's see, Nicole, no, only pipe at one. Oh, oh, oh. 35 points for GDI and 70 points for Nod. Maybe GDI. Notes are even. Oh man, what a game, man. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. Yeah, and we got Zebra. Zebra's coming there with an defense crawler. No units, though. That's probably not a 
great idea. Um, probably it's best to pull back and get some units first. I oh. need only two or three kills more to win it, and uh, not need 70 points. Oh man, this. Ah, here's the end. Here got the kills. GDI won in a very close one, but yeah, congratulations also to not side. Man, what a exhausting long game. It took 30, almost 38 minutes here. <laughs> Which is an incredibly long game these yeah. days. You know, they don't normally last more than 10 minutes, but there was. Uh, but they are pro players. They played a long, long time. Played in tournaments and championships, and they're really good. And they've showed their skill in that game. I think. Absolutely. So look at the stats shot. Ari killed four. Yeah, we don't look too much at the lost trolls because it's never mentioned here how many crawlers you uh, decommissioned. So Ari four, uh, Fasty four, okay. Yeah, GDI killed some more here, but it's also usually at the killed units. Oh, oh Pipe, this should play the wonderful match, 170 This is a very good ratio later. Yeah, Ari 130, Ari 130, but lost 105. Yeah, but he, Ari played defense, and the problem with defense is you do lose a lot of units, because uh, they are slow, very slow units, yep. uh, and they're very easy to kill, they're not yeah. that difficult, but they can be annoying. Yeah, defensive players intend to spam engineers, and the engineers, you know, they gave only away three points, you know, half as much as a hunter or a normal unit. Yeah. So, Zebra, yeah, Zebra played not on, on, the, on the stat side a good match, but we all know that she is the big master yeah. at tip work and at note work and this is what we don't see here in the stat field. We don't see how many tip tips uh, Zebra brought home, how many note work she did in the whole game and we only see kills and losses here. Yeah. And yeah, on the support points, look at that, that, that big, big amount from, from GDI. Yeah. 48 use support powers, man. That's which is incredible, which, which is what we were saying earlier on as well, it, when Fusty was playing their uh, support, which he did all the way through once he got to tier 3, is that, um, you know, 19 support, and that just shows that what he was doing, he was saving them support powers up to use Mark of Cain to take out crawlers and get kills, uh, which gave him a, probably, I'm not, I didn't look at the scores at the end, but I think Fusty had the highest number of points out of the Nod team. Yeah, yeah. And that was simply just through going around capturing, uh, sorry, killing units, which is great, because you then, you know, you got Zebra collecting all the nodes and collecting the tip, which is giving points. You got Fusty going around, not worried about that, because he can rely on Zebra to do it. Fusty's going around killing units and getting points from that, which all adds up. And then you've got Cheetah supporting on the ground, and ground units are going out and taking out Hunters and the rest of the units. Uh, so they played really well there. They played Zebra collecting tips, secure nodes, Fusty and Cheetah going around taking out ground units and crawlers, which is excellent play. Yeah, it's usually these support players are not that big help in Notebook like offensive players or defensive players because they usually have no air units. Okay, Bill, it was a... I enjoyed to make the what with you. I hope I didn't interrupt you too much and you could all people could understand my <laughs> not so good English. <laughs> As I keep telling you, Michael, your English is far better than my German. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you said this every time to me. <laughs> Okay, people, so and I hope you will enjoy the replay. It wasn't too long, and we will see us next time. Also, with you, Bill, we'll make maybe a triple or a four-player what with Ari Gold and all the Zodiac from Fim, from Fim's team in. That would be very nice. <laughs> uh, it'd be good. It'd be good, yes. <laughs> okay, so have a nice day. See you later, guys. Ciao, ciao. We are yeah, take care. Bye-bye. Ciao.